So we had just started street performing, and there was this guy, Jason Escape, who was like, Psst, bro, there is a festival in Canada. You just go up there, you can street perform. We're like, really? Just go up there? Shh! Don't tell nobody. So on a whim, we spent like $1,000 on plane tickets, and oh yeah, when we were like, should we make like a reservation at a hotel? No. When you get there, take a bus to this address. There'll be a place to stay on the corner. So obviously, right away, we're like, oh, okay. And we fly up there, our first time out of the country. Side note, I, this guy totally could have been lying. Like, I don't remember even checking. So we get to the hotel. It's real. Okay, we go inside. And there's this decrepit-looking Steve Buscemi petting a cat. Kind of like Dr. Evil style. You boys want a room. Yes, please. We get into the room, <laughs> lots of red flags. There's no lock on the door, okay? There's a giant stain in the middle of the carpet, like, I, uh, maybe blood. There was Slurpee cups under the bed. Oh, and there was a mini fridge in there with some old dentures in it. And we're like, this is, this is very strange. So we go to bed, you know, anything to just close our eyes and not be there, right? And about three o'clock in the morning, we hear these girls yelling. Go away, leave us alone. The two of us get up, go to look out the window, Right, and there's this really buff-looking Channing Tatum mofo. I'm not making this up. I literally saw an Asian man fly through the darkness and kick him in the face. Five other dudes came out, started wailing on him, punching him, and then 10 seconds later, like ninjas, he vanished. Right away, we're like, we gotta help this guy. So we head downstairs, and there's these three beautiful-looking girls coming up the stairs, followed by some other dodgy-looking dudes. All right, and decrepit Steve Buscemi's limping up the stairs behind him like, Hey, you can't go up there. You know, he lightly kind of grabs one of the dudes by the wrist to stop him from following the girls to their room. And Dodgy Dude is pissed. He wails around, throws him up against the wall, and starts strangling him like hardcore. And right away, we're like, whoa. Canada is a giant fight club. We did not know. I would have brought my nunchucks. So this is happening like a foot from my face. And I'm just like, get this instinct to be like, I have to do something. And he's still like, you ruined my game, man. That girl wanted my stuff. And then he, they had like a friend there that was standing right next to him, like polishing his muscles and stuff, right? So I decide, being a rough and tough street performer, just start tapping him on the shoulder. Be like, excuse me, sir, please stop. Please? Luckily, the police show up for the outside thing. I'm like, oh, most Canadians are nice. So we run outside and we're like, police, police, help us. We got a problem here. Oh, hey, no problem here. We already took care of it with some handshakes and hugs. Aw, that's so nice. I'm like, no, dude, there is another fight inside. Point of story, decrepit Steve Buscemi lives. All the jerks received their five to ten hugs and were arrested. And we changed hotels. And that was just night one. The story gets even crazier. If you want to hear more, click like or just subscribe. Have you ever been to another country? Leave your comment down below. I'm It's Alex Clark and I will see you somewhere, okay? Bye!